back to Megabot's headquarters. We are here and we are ready to put the heavy lift arms onto our final torso. We have the first final pieces of the Mark III robot ready to go and ready to start testing. Well, we got one arm on. The heavy lift arms are designed to be general purpose, high capacity arms that can attach any tool or weapon we want up to 2,000 pounds. Over the past few weeks, we have been designing, we have been welding stuff together, we've been machining parts, we've assembled little bits and pieces of the robot to test, from shoulders to individual actuators to elbows, and then we assembled the left arm really quickly just to see if anything would go wrong. We tested it in the rain at midnight just to see if it would work. It's going. It's going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but now we're ready to attach the two arms and be done with this part of the robot. This right here is Megabot's mission control. We've been taking the software that IHMC has been writing and making sure that it can communicate with all the components inside the robot. This process is called system integration. It's kind of like setting up a home network and making sure that all the computers and devices and printers can talk to each other on that network. Outside, we're readying the track base to use as our primary source of power for our upcoming tests. So we've got a track base that's now providing hydraulic power. We've got a robot behind me that needs hydraulic power. So we're going to use four 50-foot-long, one-inch hoses to connect the two to see if we can get things to move around. We're building the Mark III from the bottom up and the top down. So we have our track base. We know it generates 4,000 PSI at 120 gallons per minute. And we're trying to integrate it with the top half of the robot to get it working. OK. Uh, E-stop power is wired. I think the left torso is good. How's that one looking? Yeah, this one looks great. So Sweet. basically, everything's wired up right now. So if you want to test, awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. I've been waiting for six months to do this. Oh boy. Right now, Rob's bringing out the top half of the Mark III on top of what we call the Tower of Death. The Tower of Death is a test platform that holds the robot up to its final height once the legs are done. Once we've got it out in the yard, we're gonna test all of the actuators on the robot to make sure the software works. Okay, starting. Let's try left wrist roll first. Okay. Okay, so that is left wrist roll, yeah. This should be left shoulder yaw. Moving to left elbow pitch. Right shoulder roll. Oh, so that's wrist. Yep. Okay, so right shoulder roll was actually right, right wrist. wrist yaw. Yep. Right shoulder yaw, unlocking now. So that is, that is right pitch. shoulder pitch. We've just spent all day testing each joint and actuator in the robot. We think we have all of the bugs ironed out. Up next is complex coordinated motion with both arms. According to our calculations, this thing should be able to lift an entire vehicle, so that's what we're gonna do next. Zero to wing in three, two, one. Wing to grab in three, two, one. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes. Nice. Ready for lift? I think we're ready for lifting. Grab to lift in three, two, one. Oh my god. 
God, look at that thing. We tore that apart. That looks awesome. Looks like we are uh, okay at our jobs. <laughs> I think this one's a wrap. Yeah, uh, we got a lot to do. Let's keep moving. Got another half the robot to build. Yep. <laughs>